Hey guys, so it's 7 in the morning on a Saturday and I'm editing this video and I've gotten to this point and I just want to tell you a little bit about the story of this painting and this painting like so many paintings after the first few washes it just looks so fresh and beautiful and I love it but then I just want to continue to develop it so I dipped and dabbed at it for like I don't know a half hour I'm gonna skip a bunch of stuff so you don't have to watch me dip and dab at it but I do want to show you one part of me dipping and dabbing at it which is when I used a magic eraser because I haven't shown that to you guys before and I think this is a perfect opportunity to do that so here we go never satisfied to leave well enough alone I think I liked it better when there was this light passage coming across his shoulder and I haven't shown you guys this trick so this is a perfect um, opportunity too to show you this trick this is see I tore it off a magic eraser I just tore it a little bit and I wet it pretty well and I also wet the area that I want to lift so it just erases but I just want to lighten that shoulder a little bit and then while I'm at it just define this little I don't think about that. and see then it leaves a little bit but so it has a nice subtle effect soft effect I like it and it doesn't damage the paper as much as a scrubber would too so that is an, uh, an advantage. I want this all to be one shape coming off his... And there's also, I'm going to rinse it out by just kind of let, it acts like kind of like a sponge. All right. I think it was off camera when I was doing this, but I'll just do the same exact thing again, just to show you guys. And I'm just using a point of this. Then I blot after I scrub a little bit, depending on how much I want to take off. And then there's this pretty line coming around here too, isn't there? Catching the side of his belly. Should we dare try to get that? For fear of messing up the painting. <laughs> I'm just keeping it really wet. It's got this line that comes over his back and then down around his barrel. Let it dry and think. I use the thinking technique a lot where I just kind of let a painting sit overnight and see what I think about it. And then go from there. But I think that adds a nice little detail there, that little light spot that is in the reference photo. How does that look? I think that looks better.